I am running a little bit late today. It is 5.20 and I'm finally at the lake. Um, it's been a pretty crazy morning. And you know it's a crazy morning because of this. You see that? I had to put my Crocs in four wheel drive. That's right. I got Duck Commander Crocs. Got them on sale at Academy Sports and Outdoors. Today I'm setting up on the lake. We got a south wind. It's solo hunt once again. Taking the yak out, the quack yak and hopefully we'll be killing some birds. The scouting yesterday didn't look super great, so I'm, I don't really know what to expect, but it was definitely a cold push yesterday. So maybe that cold push brought some birds in and they're wanting to die today. I've got two dozen mallard decoys. I've got the kayak, one spinner, because another spinner bit the dust. And then that's pretty much it. Two dozen decoys and one mallard spinner and one teal spinner if the water's shallow enough i'm not quite sure i don't have a very long pole for it so today isn't necessarily really going as planned but i got the spot i wanted so like if i was hunting the marsh today i, I would have had like completely 180 my uh, thinking they're getting out of bed at 4 30. like my alarm went off at three and then like i shut it off and i opened my eyes up again and i look and it's 4 30 i'm like oh we gotta get moving it's kind of that that's kind of the probably the hardest part about hunting by yourself you don't have anybody to like backup plan come in and wake you up so that's all right though let's go ahead get everything loaded up and i'll meet you out on the water we're set up in a spot today that looks perfect like i couldn't ask for a better hide I couldn't ask for a better looking like spot to set out decoys. Like I said earlier, two dozen decoys, the teal mojo pole is not long enough. So I'm only running one lucky duck today. Rest in peace, Mr. Mallard. I hope I hope I can recover you. I'm gonna let it dry out. Have you guys, leave in the comments if you guys have ever had like a mojo or a lucky duck fall in the water and like, has it lived or no? Like. I didn't quite get to it fast enough. I'm running just a basic horseshoe spread today, nothing super special, and hopefully the birds will just suck right in here. The boat's gonna hide really good. Can I call it a boat? It's a kayak. Yeah, my, my girlfriend likes to say, it's not a boat. It's a boat. It's my boat. It's 12 foot long for Pete's sake. But it's gonna hide in here really well. I also wanna take a minute to tell you guys thank you for watching. It means a lot when you guys click on my video, hit the like button, subscribe, all that stuff. It means a lot to have your guys' support and just like watching me hunt ducks. Like I never thought it'd turn into something like this, but I mean, it's pretty cool. We've got probably like an hour until shooting light. So we're just gonna hang out here, drink some coffee and enjoy this beautiful morning. It's like 50 degrees. It's nice. I heard him and I saw his reflection on the water. I couldn't see him because it's real dark from these trees over here. Makes things kind of difficult. Ooh, Greenland Drake. That's nice. That's real nice. I kind of destroyed this bird a little bit. Greenwing Drake though. Man, a two shot did a number on him. Whoops. Okay, okay, let's put another shell on the gun. Hopefully we'll get a few more to fly by. All I've seen this morning is teal and maybe a couple of big ducks. Here we go, here we go. Got another teal down. Those ones do it right. I probably shouldn't have taken that last shot, but whatever. Oh, ducking me. Oh, at least I thought those were mallards. Okay, we gotta go get this guy. He's swimming off. Don't be swimming off like that. I wasn't sure what that was. I think they're mallards. They're big ducks for sure. Oh, would you look at that? We got 
a gorgeous gadwall drake I think that's nice that's real nice another drake all we've killed today is drakes yikes we're sitting pretty good here mr gadwall and mr teal he's still kind of eclipsed look you guys can see it probably not it's still a little dark but yeah i did a number on him he's got a few holes in him we're doing good we can shoot three more ducks and we'll pack up and get out of here i'm loving how they're working we definitely got a push of birds last night and they just right and spread just the way I wanted them to if you guys didn't notice I've got my boat angled a little bit to where I can swing from here all the way over to here so as a right-handed shooter I want my toes pointed towards the right and if you're left-handed you want your toes pointed to the left so that gives you a little bit more uh, range of motion to shoot so if I was head-on I wouldn't be able to make half the shots because I couldn't swing right So this is good beautiful beautiful Drake Gadwall awesome Oh, we got all the amenities this morning. <sighs> Nothing better than a hot cup of coffee in the duck blind. It's a good day. Nice and, like, cool, but not cold. Just a good day to be out duck hunting. Nice little early season day, shooting some early season birds. I'm digging it. I'm having fun. That's what it's all about. It's always nice to see blood and feathers on your blind. You know you have a good day then. You know, I think I'm missing birds so bad because the wind is pushing the kayak and it's kind of like swaying a little bit. So that could probably be throwing my shots off. And probably because I'm not used to shooting out of a boat like this. Um, it's not really an excuse or anything. It's more of an explanation. That's that's the only thing that can come into my mind. Because I should have shot those birds. But I don't know. Something's going on. I should be shooting birds like that. That was, that was a gimme. We'll keep at it. There's big groups flying overhead. So there's definitely birds around. I think uh, I think they'll keep flying here for a little while. And I just hope that I can shoot a few more. Need to hit them. <laughs> I've had groups come in. I just can't seem to hit them. But it's all part of it. You, you hit some birds and you miss some birds. That's why it's kind of fun and challenging. So I made a move because I think these birds were seeing me. We got another group coming in. Holy crap, I am bad. How did that happen? How did I miss those? That was rough. Things aren't really going super stellar today. Uh, I'm kind of figuring things out as I go here with this kayak hunting thing. Um, I've decided that I've, I've been sticking out pretty bad <laughs> with uh, my blind here. So I took a second to kind of get a little bit more of this uh, smart weed and get that on there. I'm still going to look like a yellow blob out here. But with the lake level dropping, more of the kind of grassy vegetation is going to start showing. So I think I'll be good here in about a week. But I think they're seeing me. I mean, it doesn't help that I got this big thing back here. The water's too deep for me to get out and like wrap the blind around the back of the, the kayak like it's supposed to. So like one, I've got a hard edge on the blind and then two, all that stuff's back there and it's just like sticking out pretty bad. So, um, kind of having to deal with that. But I don't know, it's about 10 o'clock right now. I don't know how many more birds we're gonna see. Uh, I've got nothing else to do today, so I'll probably just sit here for a little while longer and see if anything decides to fly by. 
had a single work me for a little bit. And, uh, then that's like what kicked into my mind. Like, yeah, that, that duck totally saw me. And so it's tough. It's hard to like brush a blind with little twigs, you know? It's so much easier to just go out with clippers and like get a bunch of grass to put on the blind, but you gotta match it to hide good. So hopefully we'll get a little bit more grassy stuff coming up. Like I'm starting to see it right now. It's like just about there. So once the grass really comes up, we're gonna be good. Like if it wasn't a marsh, oh, lights out. I'm hidden really well, but out here on this lake, not, not that great. I would love to have like a nice group of redheads or bluebills fly by. That'd be, that'd be real nice. I'd be happy with that. I honestly think my shooting is off because I'm in this kayak and it kind of rocks a little bit. And like when I was like in the wind, the wind would kind of make the boat sway back and forth. So I think that's kind of the reason why I was missing these gimme shots. Uh, so it's definitely something to get used to. Like. I haven't been kayak hunting for more than a week. So definitely something that you need to get used to. You can't just like go out there and like expect to hit every bird. Like I'm missing a lot. This is very humbling. <laughs> so here's what we ended today with. One, Gadwell Drake. And two, Greenwing Drake. Today's hunt definitely wasn't like rock star awesome hunt, but it was so good. Like. I had fun and that's really all that matters. My shooting was bad and I think that's because of the kayak. I think I'll get better with it as I practice and get used to shooting out of a kayak. With the water level dropping that's definitely good too so then I can get into some shallower water where I can kind of beach the kayak up a little bit to where it's going to be more stable. And I think that's going to help out a lot. I just don't, I'm not able to do that because there's nowhere for me to really beach it. All in all it was a good sit. I, nothing to complain about it's actually really good for early season right now like i've never seen ducks here doing this this early in the season it's normally like you know you go out opening day you shoot a bunch of birds and then like two weeks later you're shooting birds again this year we're not having that it's just bam 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 we're just getting little pushes of birds every single like three to four days there's another little cold front that pushes a little bit more birds in so uh we're gonna be shooting more mallards here soon I've got a feeling, I've got a really good feeling that we're going to get some mallards here in the next two to three weeks. Until then, it's just a waiting game. I'll take gadwalls and teal. That's fun, but uh, nothing gets my heart pumping like a big old mallard cupped into the spread. You know what I'm saying? If you guys want to pick up a hoodie like this one or a hat like this one, there's links in the description of this video so you guys can go over to the website and pick one up. Also, uh, oh, I put my calls away, but also one of the calls I was using today was the uh, ducks, next gen duck call. So. There's a link down there for that one as well. It's a great call. I highly recommend it if you guys are looking for a new double read. You can follow me on my social media. I've got Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. Follow me on there and stay up to date with what's going on. But that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this little hunt. And I'll catch you on the next one.